Yo, if you're looking to wrap up an NBA 2K20 and you are stuck getting below 10k my points a game, then look no further. This is the video for you, man. Let's get right into it. Yo, if you guys are looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account, go hit up my boy SportsTNB.com. He is 100% legit, fast, reliable. Any account that you want, 99 overall, any events, go hit him up and tell him Supreme DF sent you. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Supreme DF back with another banger, man. And today, as you can see by the intro and title, we'll be going over the best rep methods in NBA 2K20. Now, this isn't going to be just best rep methods, right? I'm going to be giving you guys the best builds, badges to run with those builds in order to get more rep um, strategies, as in like when to spin your wheel, what events to play. And also, I'm going to be telling you how to throw lobs. And I know that sounds like very simple, how to throw a lob, obviously double tap Y, but there is different strategies to making this a lot easier. So make sure you watch the video all the way through. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. Shout out to you guys, we're almost at 50K. It's insane. Let's get right into it. Life get crazy when the lights off. Shorty on my phone, get the night on. Lay on the road, the lights on. To my time on the road, I can stay long. Don't forget this time. Alright guys, so first things first is builds, okay? If you're grinding rep on the wrong build, if you don't have playmaking in your build, it's going to be extremely difficult for you to get over 10,000 my points. And in this video, you're going to be seeing, I'm going to get, I'm going to be getting like 13,000, 14,000, even 15,000 my points. So you got to have the right build in order to do this, right? So I'm on an offensive threat, which is shooting and playmaking, by far the best rep grinding build. And you can see here, I have 22 shooting badges, 23 playmaking badges. Shooting badges don't really matter. But as long as you have a lot of playmaking badges, you should be good and should be getting a lot of rep. The right badges to run are flashy passer and lob city passer. Um, obviously not good badge, badges if you're just playing. But if you're rep grinding, you definitely need these badges and you're going to see why later in the video. So keep that noted. This is a guard build that you should be playing on. And let's get into my boy Vital's center build. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, my boy Vital is on an interior finisher right there's just no other center build that you're gonna want to play on to get rep the interior finisher is by far the best it's the all blue pie chart and you're just gonna be catching lobs for days you're gonna be standing on the block all that good stuff catching lobs for the guard um, you get a little bit rest less um, rep playing center but at the end of the day it's still very good rep like I said you're gonna be getting 13 14 K a game so I wouldn't be complaining you know everybody's got to step up and play center but for vitals badges um too bad we can't get an xbox party because this you know xbox is an l right now but here are the badges he runs for finishing he runs contact finisher hall of fame fancy footwork giant slayer lob city finisher is an important one slithery and relentless acrobat and consistent so like i said this is a six foot ten all blue pie chart interior finisher um i'm not gonna go over the build exactly but um if you want to make a play shot or an interior finisher definitely go look up a video so you make it the right way well without further ado let's get right into the next part okay so moving on to the next part of the video is going to be double rep events now you're gonna tell me you're gonna be like in the comments you're gonna say oh well isn't it obvious that you're supposed to play double rep events listen you gotta do it the right way all right if you're not throwing lobs catching lobs if you're serious about getting rep and unlocking all these cool rewards this year you gotta be rep grinding during these double rep events now one of the most important things, right? You can see it right here on the event schedule, correct? We got cages, formula, which is crazy, boot camp, rush 1v1, court conqueror, and rec, all right? So obviously we, we got a lot of double rep events during this quarantine, right? But um, here's a tip that you guys need to know for these events. So as you can see, formula right here, it's, it's at 8 a.m., ends at 2 p.m. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna save your wheel spin for this event, right? Cause you're, if you hit double rep on the wheel, you're gonna have times four rep. And if you get 13K a game times four, do the math for yourself, that's a lot of rep for literally one game. So if you save your wheel spins and hit double rep, I promise you, you, you might be able to fly through an entire bar depending on what rep you are. So um, we're gonna go into the wheel spin and I'll show you guys my two methods for the double rep. 
All right, so if you guys are not an elite one yet, you're going to be spinning this wheel right here. So as you can see, we got two hours of double rep and we have five hours of double rep. Um, there's really isn't a secure method for this wheel because it changes every time because there's going to be a lot of people spinning it before you. But what I used to do is I used to let my bar go all the way to the top and bounce back halfway to the bottom. So when it hits the top and goes halfway to the bottom, that is when you release it. I got a double rep a bunch of times doing that. So that's my method for this wheel and for the elites. Um, for this I don't have a spin right now, but if I can explain it You're gonna want to let it hit the top and then there's a W in power uh, It says spin power. So when that um, when the bar hits the W that is when you release it I get double rep all the time. That's my boy solos method shout out to him. But yeah, that's lit Let's get into the next part. All right guys So we have finally made it to the most important part of the video. Okay, so this is the gameplay on how I get my rep Okay, so here I got 15,000 my points and if you do that consecutively consecutive games just getting 15,000 my points I promise you you are going to rep up super fast as you can see right there vital just caught that lob and here What you want to do is stand behind the inbounder and let the interior wrap around and get easy lobs for days Right here. He's just gonna go right through the middle. I should have lobbed that right there But boom, this is an AI so this might not apply to every game but I'm just gonna show you anyway because I got tons of rep this game so I want you to see exactly what I did he's just gonna keep running through the middle here easy lobs he has takeover I think he got takeover at six points which is crazy so yeah vitals gonna keep going crazy um especially with the AI gonna run right through the middle again I think he missed but still free lob right there as you can see in the top right I have about seven lobs so once you do this what you're gonna want to do is switch to flashy passes by double tapping the circle button or the b button you flashy pass it to your interior and you know what they do with that badge they're not going to miss it's just going to be easy hop steps to the paint now if you are the interior it's definitely going to be um a lot easier if you hop step you get more rep you get better contact animations which also gives you more rep and as you can see since they are double teaming the paint i'm just going to step back and green that three so now i'm not going to cut this photo footage here so you can see exactly how much rep I got and know that I'm not fucking with you. Like, I actually got this amount of rep just playing one twos game, which is crazy. And if you have double rep, think about it. You're getting 30k a game. Hold up. Here it comes. I got exactly 14,957. That's insane. With double rep, that's nearly 30k. So you're going to be repping up mad fast. And we're going to move on to the next gameplay. Okay, so this method right here is by far the most effective and this is what I do most of the time now that we have two players and one is not an AI I can show you exactly what to do So as you can see vital the interior is sitting there on the block correct and I'm sitting up here ISOing it's not that hard pro 2 back and forth and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run to the paint and hold LT and you can see the defenders They're just jumping for joy trying to block the lob so once again here i'm gonna stand right behind the guy they're both gonna go down step back take an easy green all right okay so now that i have a couple lobs again what we're gonna do is start throwing flashies also throwing flashies does kind of throw the defenders off like you know what i mean throws them off a little bit because they expect you to just throw the lob so if you sit here throw some flashies let your interior do some work down there it's going to be easy if they have takeover and they should already have takeover if you've been throwing the lobs but here once again i'm going to run into the paint hold lt wait for the defender to move up a little bit and it's free lobs man so this game i didn't get as much rep here but um, I did get a decent amount, even though I scored a lot because they were really, really just sitting in the paint. They knew what I was trying to do. But uh, yeah, if they do sit in the paint, bro, you're going to have to sit there and take threes. I shot, what did I shoot? I shot three shots there, four shots. So yeah, this final gameplay, I'm going to show you guys how to get takeover in literally two buckets. Okay, so here we are on the court. I'm going to show you guys how to get your interior takeover in two shots. Now I mentioned badges earlier and this is where it comes back to make them really important. That flashy passer hall of fame. Now I'm gonna grab the ball right here and flashy pass it to my boy Vital. He's gonna run in and take an easy dunk, right? Flashy passer hall of fame, about now, he probably has maybe three quarters of his takeover just off one dunk. I'm gonna flashy pass it to him again. He's gonna run in there and take an easy layup and boom. We're not even 20 seconds into the game and he has takeover. Just like that, now I can throw as many lobs as I want, all that good stuff. I mean, it's just, it's simple stuff, guys. So, all these tips I showed you, use them to your advantage, 
and that's gonna wrap up the video man all right guys that's gonna wrap up the video man if you made it this far thank you so much make sure to drop a like leave a sub um all these methods are definitely going to help if you are looking to unlock these cool rewards in nba 2k20 and listen guys i'm going to be hitting legend very very soon i'm currently at 81 percent so within the next week expect a lit legend stream y'all better be there and without further ado i'm out i'll see you guys in the next banger Wanna see me like right now? Told that bitch to come over and pipe down. Thinking way too much about life now. But my mama can't quit, no, I can't now. She just wanna see me like right now. Told that bitch to come over and pipe down.